Anxiety, pain, monotony. The realities of life can be crushing, and it is natural human phenomenon to want to shrink and avoid these confrontations rather than face them head on. Allegorically, people run from responsibility, from self-improvement, from becoming the person they aspire to be because of fear. A meaning that is often attributed to running tends to be escape. Comfort zones are important, but an over-reliance on them can lead to stagnation, and ignorance of the fact that life is a constant process can leave someone woefully short-sighted. This is not healthy, nor is it productive, yet a lot of us do it. But what if we can train ourselves to believe in something different, and to think of the act of running not as an escape, but as a chase? A tiny shift in perspective can make all the difference, and all it takes is a push. Or in some cases, a series of pushes. Run with the Wind is a character-driven slice of life and sports anime hybrid that examines the pains, struggles, and eventually, the rewards that belief, connection, and lofty goals can bring. And it's also a show that speaks to me extremely deeply, in an almost therapeutic manner, due to how it has a knack for understanding human psychology and applying it to an emotionally charged, wholesome story. Kiyose Haiji is a former runner recovering from a terrible injury who attends Kansai University. Rather than concern himself much with school, he is fixated on ensuring that all ten available spots in his dorm building are filled for some reason. One night, he witnesses a young shoplifter named Kakeru running away from the person he stole from, and becomes entranced by his movements and determined to have him become the tenth roommate. Soon, it becomes clear why he's been doing all this. Because in signing a lease, these boys have unintentionally agreed to become part of the Kansai University track and field team. And Haiji's goal for them is to train more fiercely than ever and compete in the Hakone Ekiden, the premier team event in Japan taking place on a scenic mountaintop. Obviously, this is met with unanimous shock and incredulity, but Haiji's persistence slowly starts to show results, and the members of the team soon come to realize some incredible things about themselves. Other than Kakeru, none of these young men were really genuinely struggling, but the majority of them were sort of going through the motions of a college student's life. And without giving running a try, I'm sure that most, if not all of them, would have lived decent lives. But in the end, the ten decided that they would not settle for decent, and aimed for something greater. Because thanks to Haiji, they realized the ineffable value of the act of running, and what it can mean for each of them. お前は Run with the wind absolutely champions perspective. It encourages you to just take a step back and see what you're doing. Don't rush to achieve goals and skip what makes these experiences valuable. Don't lose sight of why you do things. Take a breather. And when you've gathered yourself, go again. Because we all know what it's like to be impulsive and rash, and to do what we perceive as the right things for the wrong reasons. But without the proper mindset, you're only hurting yourself. It's a story incredibly in tune with the mentality of both the athlete and the everyman, fixated on viewpoints, peace of mind, and how they all intertwine. It explains how making a sacrifice like this can help you re-examine the things you value in an extremely beneficial way. Of course, when applied to running, this sort of thing doesn't come easy. At first, it can be painful, excruciating even. But once you clear that hump, something special occurs. なんでそんなに本気になれるんだ? 
自分からやってやろうと思ったってのはあります好きでもないのにハイジさんに無理やりでも実際走ってみて思ったんです強制されて走るより自分から望んで走った方が画然楽しいかもなってだから少しだけ本気でやってみようってそしたら走るのも好きになるかもしれない Running can be difficult and exhausting, but change your mindset and it can also be liberating. The pain can represent something more. For Kakeru, running is simultaneously his passion and a reminder of past mistakes, but the friendships he forms help turn it into a strictly positive outlet. For Niko chan, it's simple self improvement. For Shindo, it represents a chance to change his life for the better, to become a part of something huge, something he's never done before. And for Haiji, it was something he needed to do, something his heart pleaded for. Running means a lot of different things for a lot of different people, but it's all linked by a sentimental thread, and that is the crux of the bonds formed within this team. Yet, even if it varies from person to person, can there be a way to define running, to extrapolate its meaning at a fundamental level? One of the primary themes that Run with the Wind associates with it is something akin to a deep feeling of freedom. Unrestricted, clean liberation, detached from the pains of life. It's an intimate, organic act. Just you, moving, gliding, flying. Nothing can catch you. Kite nice yo. Saki no kotae. Shitsuko. That. Ma. Hashitte to Gitakeva. Son to Gitakeva. Kire ni nareru king a sundaro. Mashiro tsuga. Dara dara seochi matamon. Zimbu o kizari ni stesa. 一瞬でもきれいさっぱりできんならさ。And along with this, Haiji's dream also gives them something to commit to, some structure in their lives, a chance to be part of something magnificent, and a chance to form a brotherhood. They all started running because it gave them this sense of liberation and commitment, but they continued because they had formed a bond around it. It represented their relationships and connections, the hard work they put in together, and what it meant for each of them personally. Predictably, liberation transitions into sentiment, and running is solidified as the primary aspect of these young men's lives. The idea of running the Hakone Ekiden turned from a distant, hilarious fantasy into an attainable dream that represented all of this to each of the members. And from here, maybe Kakaru found himself able to answer the question that Haiji proposed to him near the beginning. 走るだけなら誰にだって許されます好きなだけ走ればいいでもハイジさんの言う走るってそういうことなんですか箱根は誰でも出られる大会じゃないですよねわかりませんあなたの言う走るって何なんですかそれだよかける<笑>俺も知りたいんだ走るって何なのか走るってどういうことなのかはここまでにしよう
各自クールダウンをすいませんもう,もう一本追加していいですかもう一本お願いしますラップも落ちている今日はもうタイムが全てじゃないそう言いましたよね<笑>確かにタイムは出したいでもそれよりも今はとにかく走りたいんです納得いくまでただそれだけなんですお願いしますお願いします Running means freedom from pain and worries, but it does not mean escape. It is not a trip to a fantasy land. It is a method of recentering, forgetting for just a moment, balancing, and seeing things from a new perspective. Oh. Running can be anything, but as a concept, it's not about running away. It's about moving towards something, from minor incremental goals to grand endeavors, and all of the value that this can bring. Sacrifice really isn't that hard when the rewards are so palpable, and Haiji's leadership was instrumental in making everyone see this. Run with the Wind isn't really a show that does anything super unique, but the combination of the extremely vibrant cast, the interactions that are both heartfelt and entertaining, the profound journeys that some of them go through, and how the act of running works as a sentimental thread of emotional context that links them all to the common theme of freedom and camaraderie, it all adds up to something much more than the sum of its parts. And even having said that, the character development is wonderful, Yuki Hayashi's score is great, the background art is spectacular, and save for a couple of derpy looking character models, the visual direction is pretty consistently inspired. I really like this show, and it's a shoe in as a new favorite of mine as long as the quality doesn't severely dip. If you've watched this video without having seen the show for some reason, and if you feel intrigued by anything I've said here, then give it a shot. I can't guarantee that you'll like it, because as I said, this is a show that strikes a deep chord that appeals to me personally, but I can guarantee an endearing story full of heart. Many thanks for watching.